The Kalashnikov Concern has dispatched a substantial shipment of nine M333 anti-aircraft guided missiles to the armed forces under the 2024 State Defense Order. These missiles are specifically designed for the STRELA-10M3 air defense system. According to the Concerns Press Service on Friday, May 24, 2024, this recent delivery fulfills a significant part of the state defense order. Kalashnikov Concern has successfully handed over a large batch of nine M333 anti-aircraft guided missiles as per the 2024 state defense order, the statement said. The Strela 10M3 is an air defense system utilized by the ground forces air defense units, providing immediate protection for troops during various combat scenarios and maneuvers. This system is also essential for defending smaller military and civilian installations from low-flying aerial threats that are within visual range. The 9M333 anti-aircraft missile is a highly sophisticated weapon system that's crafted for an array of defense scenarios. It belongs to the expansive family of Russian surface-to-air missiles and is acclaimed for its versatility and effectiveness in targeting aerial threats. With dimensions of approximately 2.23 meters in length and a diameter of about 0.12 meters, the 9M333 missile boasts a compact size. This makes it easily integrated into various launch platforms, thus enhancing its operational flexibility. The propulsion of the 9M333 is driven by a solid-fuel rocket engine. This propulsion system offers a high thrust-to-weight ratio, allowing the missile to rapidly accelerate and maintain a sustained flight towards its target. Key components of the missile include a guidance system, warhead, propulsion unit, and control surfaces. Typically, the guidance system comprises infrared and optical sensors, which enable the missile to track and engage its target with remarkable precision. The operational range of the 9M333 missile is around 5 kilometers. This range allows it to effectively counter various aerial targets, such as aircraft, helicopters, and drones, within a relatively short distance from its launch point. The Strela 10M3 is a nimble, short-range, surface-to-air missile system originally developed by the Soviet Union and now employed by Russia. It's crafted to defend ground troops from low-altitude threats like aircraft, helicopters, and UAVs. This system is mounted on a tracked, amphibious MTLB chassis, giving it the versatility to maneuver across diverse terrains and conditions. In terms of size, the Strela 10M3 measures around 6.45 meters in length, 2.85 meters in width, and 2.3 meters in height. Weighing in at approximately 12.3 tons, it remains lightweight for its class, ensuring high maneuverability. The system operates with a crew of three to four, including the driver, commander, and operators. The Strela 10M3 comprises several essential components, the MTLB chassis, a turret armed with four ready-to-launch 9M37M missiles, an optical sighting system, and a fire control system. The 9M37M missiles come with infrared homing heads, which enable them to track and engage the heat signatures of incoming aircraft. Although it includes a radar for target acquisition and tracking, the system primarily depends on optical and infrared guidance. Intercepting targets is a streamlined process with the Strela 10M3's infrared homing missiles launched from turret-mounted launchers. Once a target is spotted, the operator locks onto it using the optical sighting system, and the missile then homes in on the target's heat signature, adjusting its course to ensure a successful hit. The system can tackle targets at altitudes ranging from 25 meters to 3,500 meters and distances up to 5 kilometers.
The operational prowess of the Strela 10M3 is largely driven by its 9M37M missiles, which have a maximum range of about 5 kilometers and can combat targets moving at speeds up to 415 meters per second. Thanks to its mobility and effective range, paired with robust targeting capabilities, the Strela 10M3 is a crucial tool for delivering air defense to ground forces in various combat scenarios. In 8 cases out of 10, the missile hits the target when the enemy sets heat traps by aircraft, that is, in 80% of cases. This is an excellent performance indicator. If the information given is true, then the real combat effectiveness of the STRELA-10M system, and it had previously fought in dozens of armed conflicts, has increased significantly. According to the source, who was not named by name, the new release missiles have a multispectral homing head, which allows distinguishing the true target from a false thermal one. Thanks to this, the Russian arrows are successfully fighting enemy aircraft. There are cases of damage to Su-25 attack aircraft, Mi-8 and Mi-24 helicopters, as well as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, with dimensions from 1 to 1.5 meters. Note that the 9M37 and 9M37M missiles produced in Soviet times, which were bundled with the STRELA-10 air defense system of early modifications, simply did not notice such compact drones, serenely flying past them without undermining the warhead. As the specialists of the Kalashnikov concern explained, the 9M333 product is designed to defeat low-flying aircraft and helicopters, as well as UAVs and cruise missiles at any time of the year in conditions of the use of droppable, parachuted and modulated organized optical interference. It is known that jamming and releasing false targets with a thermal field, like a real aircraft, is a standard way for combat aircraft and helicopters to protect themselves from anti-aircraft missiles with an infrared homing head. Among other things, heat traps are in use, which are cartridges with a pyrotechnic charge fired from special launchers placed on airplanes and helicopters. They create a source of thermal radiation with a power exceeding the corresponding parameter of the carrier device. When properly set, such traps distract anti-aircraft missiles and thus save their aircraft or helicopter from defeat. Now the STRELA-10M3 system, even without any modification of the combat vehicle, is capable of reliably hitting the above-mentioned targets flying at speeds up to 680 meters per second and altitudes from 10 to 3,500 meters. The STRELA-10M becomes even more deadly after upgrading to a variant with an additional suffix, N, night, by introducing a thermal imager into the air target detection equipment.